What's the use of harming the environment and contaminating precious water? That's what the fracking industry does, just for the sake of money. Fracking, or hydraulic fracturing, is a process of falling into the ground and injecting a series of chemicals which, under pressure, cause microscopic cracks to form into rocks in order to extract oil and natural gas. Doesn't sound so bad, right? Wrong. To complete only one fracking job, 600 chemicals are needed which are toxic to our environment, such as lead, uranium, mercury, hydraulic acid, and more. Also, it takes 1 to 8 million gallons of water, which is extremely risky due to the scarcity of water in California. Finally, the toxic remains of fluids are left in the ground, which contaminates groundwater, which we drink and water our crops and livestock with. This could be extremely harmful and could spread a variety of deadly diseases. This fluid is not biodegradable, so it just sort of sits there. Over the past year, there have been thousands of cases of water contamination that affect sensory, respiratory, and neurological damage in humans and livestock. According to seismologists, it is confirmed that fracking increases the number of earthquakes that occur. For example, the first earthquake to occur in Youngstown, Ohio, took place just after 13 days of pumping, and the tremor stopped after the Department of Natural Resources shut down that well. According to James D. Nations, President of the NPCA, only 14% of the once 63 million hectare sagebrush steppe habitat remains due to oil and gas development. According to the NRDC, contaminated wastewater is one of the main causes of harm to nature. For example, wastewater ponds provide breeding grounds for mosquitoes that can transmit deadly diseases. Luckily, there is a solution to this issue. First, signing a petition in your area by visiting foodandwaterwatch.org. Also, switching to renewable energy and eco-friendly energy sources such as solar panels and wind turbines. In addition, driving electric vehicles and losing low energy appliances. This could eventually convince oil companies to switch to more greener energy sources and eventually saving the planet.